Hey, how's it going guys? iAlligator here, and today I'll be going over two apps, an Avo Count and an Avo Extend with you, um, which help you manage and save data. Um, an Avo Count helps you manage data and see where you use the most data, so it's going to open it up first. And you can see here we are in the app, it's updating app usage. And to get either of these apps working, you do need to install a profile, which is actually really straightforward to install. So you'll hopefully have no problem installing it. But once you do, install the profile and then use data for a couple days to gather some data, which it has in this case. And you can see it shows it in a nice graphical representation and also in a list here. And you can see which app uses more data or which app you're using more for data. So you can see in my case it's Safari and it shows on top here too in the blue color and you can see as I scroll down the bar moves and it uh, shows the less used color. So for example here find my friends you can see it's a really small bar right here and so is Facebook and so forth. So you get the idea. Really nice and you can also tap each app and see um, when you've used the amount of data you've used so far. You can also share it with your friends if you want to. And you can also go to settings. Uh, nothing really to configure. Um, just whether you want to send your information to the app makers, which is your choice. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to Anavo Extend. Also in the Anavo account, you also saw this right here. If you install both apps, it shows you how much you've saved using the other app, which is pretty cool. So they're kind of integrated into each other. So we'll go to report so far and for November you can see I've, used, I've saved 13.65 megabytes which is actually quite a bit um, for how much data I use. That's um, actually did say here somewhere. So we can go to session breakdown and you can see that's 17% of all the data I've used since November 2nd, which is when I installed this app, which is actually pretty good. I mean, being on a limited data plan, this is really nice. And I haven't really noticed any significant um, download speed decrease, but I have heard that download speeds or download tests are a little bit slower on this. Not sure if um, you will see any change in real life uses. But anyways, you can see it right here and it shows how much you've saved in each app. And um, as I said, uh, for this to work, you need to install a profile and installing that profile allows all your data to go through the server which compresses the data coming to your device so you use less data. But of course, your secure data such as your email or anywhere you log in um, doesn't go through the service to keep your information secure. or that's. At least what I think, because let's hop back to the other app. We're in an app account, and you'll see that web and secure. Um, I haven't saved any using an app extend, which sort of implies that that sort of data doesn't go through this app, which is nice because you don't want, um, you know, your personal information or other important information going through another server before directly going to where you want it to go. So that is pretty much it guys. These two apps are both free right now. It may not be free by the time you watch this video, but um, if you see it, try to go download it. I know an Avo account will be always free, but an Avo Extend is free for a limited time. Both are really good apps. I've been using them, having no problem with them. And I would definitely recommend you to check them out. If you know anything about this app that I didn't mention, or if you use it and you want to share your thoughts, feel free to comment down below and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.